Hi guys, welcome back to Kitchen Colony and Happy New Year. Thank you, thank you for joining me today. Now I'd like to say thank you especially to my faithful subscribers and especially the new ones too who have just joined my group. I'm so grateful. Now for those who are watching and I know that you are, I see the numbers. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and then share and give a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Now, today our video will be a bit different because I'll be taking you on a different path. Okay, guys, have you ever thought of making your own salted mackerel? Well, today I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you from this to this. we can preserve a mackerel. Now I'm going to take off two for the next um, episode and I'm going to work with only four today. Let's remove two. Now today's video will be a bit different because it's a part of a series and it's the first part of the series and in this video we'll be showing you how we prepare the item for our next video. Now run some cold water and just start cleaning your mackerel. It's already cleaned but I'm just going through it. And I'm going to open it, fillet it when I'm finished. But I'm just getting out without all the intestines if there's any left. Allow the fish to drain. And then we're going to pat it dry when we're finished. Alright? Now let's look at the things we need. Now here we have a measuring cup. I'm using a half cup and a one third cup. And this is for the salt and sugar. Next you'll need something heavy. But I have some stones here that I've placed in some plastic bag because I didn't have anything that was heavy enough. Now we're going to need simple table salt. And we're going to need three half cups of that. We're going to need a third of a cup of sugar. Now we need something small to put or something hard to put on top of the fish. If you don't have a, I have a small cutting board, but if you don't have that, you can easily use a cover from a container and that will be perfectly okay. Um, we'll need a container to place the fish in when we, we're ready to salt it. And we need a dry bowl. Now it's time to, I'm going to cut my mackerel. You don't have to if you have a large container, but my container is not very big. So I have to cut it in half in order for it to fit. So I'm going to cut them right now. Now this part is optional. I'm going to remove the head. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I, I never normally use the head when I get it. So I'm just removing it now. I'm removing the head and remember you must have a very sharp knife and I'm removing the gill also after we've done this I'm going to pour just not far about a half an inch against the bone because I want it to open up right not very far I don't want it cut into two just like that and then we're going to clean it after now I'm going to open Cut along here because I want to go next to the bone just to slightly open it because we want the salt to penetrate yeah? like that. Now that we have cut all our, our fish, we're gonna peel it again and we're gonna run some cool water. And remember, this fish is very delicate, so you have to be gentle. So like here, we run it on the plate and get rid of all of this. Now this is best done outside if you have an outside area to do it because fish is very raw and we have to clean up properly when we're finished. So it's time to dry the, the fish. So we're just going to tap it on paper towel, dry it. Tap with a paper towel, dry off excess water. In all 
order to um, preserve our fish, we're going to make a mixture of salt and sugar. And this is usually three to one. So if you're using three cups of salt, you use one cup of sugar. Or three half cup of salt, half cup of sugar. Let's add our salt. Now in this, at this time, I think I need a bigger bowl, so I'm going to transfer it to a bigger bowl. Add the sugar now. Now it doesn't matter what type of sugar you have, you can use brown or white. Now it's time to salt our fish. So we sprinkle a generous amount of salt on the fish, a generous amount. Put it down, both front and back. Front and back. Put them in the same direction because you have to turn them. is left we're going to sprinkle it over the, the fish to sprinkle it now that we've done this let's put it away for a while and then get ready to finish it what I've done I've wrapped my um, cutting board you don't have to wrap your um, whatever you use it could be a piece of board it could be a as I showed your cover and or like me um, a cutting board but I wrap it because I'm going to put a stone on it now place the cutting board over the fish and put something heavy to, to weigh it down what this is going to do is to press it to release all the liquid inside the fish and then you know when it's ready when you start seeing water at the bottom of your pan when you start seeing it here then you'll know not just just see liquid when it melted then you'll know that you can start using your fish this takes between three to five days i'm going to cover the container and place it in the bottom of my refrigerator and that's it now this is day two and i want you to take notice of what's happening at the bottom of the container you see that liquid that's exactly what we're looking for because we're actually pressing the fish to bring out that liquid now this is actually 13 hours later and now we're going to turn our fish now as you notice i have some paper here just to protect the surface and to prevent any rawness so i'm going to remove the stuff from the this remember these are the stones that i had to weigh mine down so i'm removing it and I'm also removing my um, board here. You now you're noticing my container, the amount of liquid that has been formed. That's what we're looking for. I remember this is the first day of turning and we have to keep it at least three days, but up to five is good. Now let's turn them. We're gonna turn. So take the one from the bottom. Turn it to the opposite side. Turn this over. It's done. All right. So it, now the skin side is now at the bottom, and the flesh is now exposed. That's what we want. We're doing that today, and tomorrow we turn it again and put the flesh at the bottom and the skin to the top. Now we do this for three days, and after that we stop because after three days we don't need to turn anymore now we put back our um cutting board and then we put back our stone or whatever you use a tin whatever you use something heavy to press all the liquid from the fish we cover and put back into the refrigerator now let's cover and put it back in the refrigerator then tomorrow 12 hours after you turn again You can see the water level now, it's getting higher, and this is the third day. 
Now the reason for the video is that I went to my local Caribbean store and purchased um, salty mackerel and within a few weeks the price went up almost 300% and I was unable to purchase the amount I wanted therefore I was forced to make my own. Now if you've experienced the same then let's make our own because the satisfaction of making our own is priceless. This is the amount of liquid we have gathered. You'll notice we didn't put any water in it. This is all from the fish. Now it's our final turning day. And after that, if you keep it for five days, you don't need to turn it. Skin side up this time. You can know when it's not yet ready. It is a bit soft. You want that to feel firm. Now here we have our mackerel, salted mackerel after five days. And now I'm now removing the stones. And I'm gonna test to see whether or not it is finished. When you test your mackerel, it should be firm to the touch, not soft like when we put it in. So this is an indication that it is finished, it's cured. I'm gonna show you how I store mine. I take them and put them in you know like one fish at a time in a ziplock bag and then I freeze them. I'm going to store it now but I'm going to take a little bit of the salt from the bottom like this and put in the middle fold it like that and put it in my ziplock bag now we store it in another bag and put it in the freezer. Now this is ready for the freezer. You may put a date on it to remember when you did it. Now that we've salted the mackerel, I'm going to prepare for you a typical Jamaican dish. As you can see, we've already scalded and picked our mackerel. And along with this, we're going to have some okros. Onion, scotch bonnet, pepper is a moss, and we have some sweet pepper or bell peppers, and black pepper and other seasonings. First, we're going to fry off all our vegetables. The onion first, fry for about a minute, then we add our bell peppers and tomato and allow that to cook for a little while. Next, we add our okros and we allow our okro to cook for about three minutes. After three minutes, we test our okros to see if it's tender and then we add some jerk seasoning and some crushed garlic. Allow this to cook for a minute and then we add our black pepper and some all-purpose seasoning. time to stir in our salted mackerel and then we add our scotch bonnet pepper. Now I've done it this way because I want my okros to remain crunchy.
It was nicely seasoned and the flavor that the scotch bonnet brings all brings you back to Jamaica. Guys, this was so delicious. At this point, your meal is done. And I'm going to have mine with dumpling, banana, and boiled ripe plantain. Guys, look at this meal. Look at this. The fact that you made your own salted mackerel make this meal much more tastier. Now guys, if you enjoyed what you've just seen, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to touch that notification bell so that you'll be alerted whenever I upload a new video. And guys, I look forward to your comments. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.